There are millions of species that are discovered and millions that yet remain to be discovered. Within each species, there are millions and trillions of individuals. All these examples are given to students just to make them realize how diverse the biological world is. Uh, students are quickly made to realize the different kinds of questions that you can ask as a biologist. Hi, my name is Alok Bang and I teach ecology and evolution at Azim Premji University, Bhopal. Uh, I'm a part of the larger faculty of biology. Uh, so classically, for example, in school days, uh, students are asked to memorize facts and recall facts. And those questions basically deal with what, where and uh, when of things, right? What it doesn't do is make the student think much more beyond the information. And that is a very, very important fact of being a scientist, being a biologist, right? Uh, so the kinds of questions that you expose the students to in biology classrooms is how of things or why of things. Uh, these are slightly more complex questions. They're forced to think. I make the connections of biology with the outside society or within the uh, university with other disciplines very, very obvious to them. Uh, you can talk about the biology of the situation. So for example, how did the virus evolve? How did so many different variants of the virus come up in such a short time, in a year or two? You can take the social route, you can take the political route, you can take the economic route and start making those connections between biology and rest of the society obvious to them. These kind of questions, there is no easy answer to them, uh, but these kind of questions start, one, forcing them to think about biology in many different ways and start in general thinking them about biology as a standalone subject, but also biology in connection to the rest of the society. Rimjim gire savan sulag sulag jaye man Bhege aaj is mausam mein lagi kaisi ye agan Rimjim gire savan as you can see, it has already started raining and that's the beauty of Bhopal. Bhopal has extreme weathers. When it rains, it really rains. When it becomes hot, in summer it goes crazy. And in winters, it goes quite below, you know, sometimes 10, 5. Um, so extreme weathers and I think that's the beauty of Bhopal. I come from a small place, so-called small place, Vardha in Maharashtra. Uh, I'd say so-called because although the place is very small, it's a small district, it was also headquarters of the National Independence Movement of India. And in that sense, uh, it had people coming to Varda from all over the country, in fact, all over the subcontinent, uh, because of Gandhi. Uh, and then even after Gandhi uh, expired, passed away, those people settled in Varda. And so in that sense, Varda became a microcosm of the entire nation. Um, I grew up in that city. I did my bachelor's in Vardha. Um, it was a very, very, uh, very actually amazing childhood. Uh, my parents and grandparents were all inspired by Gandhi. Uh, they started their own NGO. We grew up in that whole atmosphere. Actually, when I went for master's to South India, I did my master's from Pondicherry Central University. Uh, all those ideas and ideals that were created during my childhood in Vardha, they started clashing with the outside reality of Pondicherry and then for PhD I went to Bangalore. All these experiences of Vardha, of uh, Pondicherry, uh, of doing PhD from IISC Bangalore, people, many, many different kinds of people, their experiences, I learned a lot from them. And I think that's what has resulted into the me of today. I have traveled a lot in India, outside India, so my tastes are also very, very wide, very diverse. But if something uh, pulls the strings of my heart, I think it's Bollywood music, sorry, Hindi film music. Uh, and uh, Hindi film music, maybe not of today, uh, but of 50s and 60s. I think I got hooked onto it because of my father. What amazing musical stalwarts in that decade. Huh? No wonder it's called the golden era of Hindi film music. Every year having so many different musical gems, right? Uh, and that music sustains even until today. I think earlier I was much driven by melody, the melodic or musical aspect of it. But slowly I started realizing the power of words in Hindi film music, especially after listening to two lyricists, Shailendra and Sahir. Especially Sahir, whose impact was very, very strong. Uh, such, such a talented man and so much packed in one person. His song, Hindi film song that I really like is Asma Pehe Khuda or Zami Pe Hum. Aajikal wo is taraf dekhta hai kam. 
you know, slightly nudging people who are believers and asking them, does he really exist? Does the God really exist? So always through his poetry, through his verse, challenging the norms. I think that era, 50s and 60s, really enriched me as a person. There are some other hobbies also, uh, reading, writing, traveling. But one hobby that I sometimes uh, miss a lot is stamp collection. I have a huge stamp collection, philatelic connect collection most of which was collected in when I was a child. There's so much that happens behind a stamp. There's a story, personal story, institutional story. How did it come to be? Political story. There's so much that can be learned from uh, Philatelio stamp collection. So yeah, I think uh, I have all these hobbies uh, and I think they make me the person that I am. My personality shaped about all these hobbies.